everyone, it's Gregory Scott here to do your tarot reading for Monday the 9th of June 2014. And for today's reading, I'm going to use the Thor deck, which is a great deck, but I don't use it a lot because um, the version of the cards I've got are really big. Um, and they're just, yeah, so just the size really. Let's have a look at what's coming up for today and see what you'll be working with and see what you can expect. So, okay. And when I shuffle the cards like this, I always check if specific ones fall out. And if they do, then I include them in, in the message. So, let's have a look at what Monday the 9th of June is all about in terms of the cards. Okay. So, first of all, three cards in reverse. So, things aren't exactly what they seem. Things may be a little bit topsy-turvy, upside down. Let's have a look at... Um, okay. First card is the chariot and that's in reverse. Okay, So the chariot is very much about bringing together your strength, your forces to succeed, to overcome obstacles. It's in reverse which means you'll be engaged with obstacles and you'll be working at resolving situations, issues, problems in your life. It doesn't mean you don't make any headway in it, but it means that you continue to work on them and with them. The next card is the Queen of Swords in reverse. And what that really indicates is the reason you're not victorious over these issues is you're not being decisive enough. You're not making the decisions that you need to. You're not um, being harsh enough, being clear. When I say harsh, I mean it in terms of, you know, sometimes you can make a decision and there's no two ways about it. You know, it, it's solid, it, the decision's done, it, it's done and dusted, and, and those are the kind of good decisions, the ones that are, you know, rattle-proof. Once they're made, they're made. And you're kind of um, trying the softer, easier approach, you're doubting yourself a little bit, and the way to resolve this issue is just to be really firm, really clear, really crisp and to just take that sword and just slice through the problem and just get rid of the negativity and make that decision without you know thinking about um, the feelings of everyone involved how you can make everybody happy because you know if you've been on this planet for more than I don't know let's say 10 years or so you're gonna know that regardless of what you do and regardless of how much you try to please other people it'll never happen you can be as codependent and as people pleasing as you want and there will always be someone who isn't happy with what you're doing. So the thing is to see what's right and good for you and to really put the opinions and views and feelings of other people into perspective. It doesn't mean you have to bulldoze over people but it means that you know it doesn't have to completely run your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, the final card is the nine of ones and it isn't in reverse. It's the right way up, because it's drawn like this, you can't really see much difference. Okay, so the nine of wands, it means you have to be strong in terms of your decision making. The wands are really about fire, passion, enthusiasm. And if you want to really get to a place of peace and finish this and, and be able to move on to other things and really have the you know, room and means to expand and move on to bigger and better things, then you're going to have to be really firm and really make a strong decision. And that's really it for today. So, you know, if you want to resolve something that's in your life, and you, if you want it to move on and be completed and done and dusted, be firm, decide, and then it will move out of your life and you can move on. Have a wonderful day. I'll be with you again tomorrow.